Hey everybody, it's your friend Starmate here, and we're back with another episode of Settlement Survival. I hope we're in a fantastic and amazing day today. We are dealing with lots and lots of meat pops again. We're getting people dying of starvation all over the place around town here, and winter is just about upon us. So, hmm, we're not looking very good here. Die of starvation, die of starvation. We need to do some things. What I think I'm going to do is slow the game down here just a bit. So, what I think we need to do is move most of our people on the food thing. And, you know, we're in the green, we have 4,000 food, we just harvested, so you'd think we'd have some food, but look at this. I just saw this. The food that we have is fish. So, what we gotta do, we gotta go over stock management again, find fish, unban fish, and now we should resolve some of this issue, but that's not great. I never noticed that before, that if you have a food ban, it still shows up over in this area. So. We got some farms built in the last episode, over in here. And they're getting there, they're almost done, they're working on it. Uh, we need to get this up and running big time here. So, now that we know that, let's also flex some of these things over to peas. Because peas are our greatest yielding thing we have. So let's do that. I do want to leave a couple of these at Broccoli, uh, just because we have the veggie processing plants. And I want to utilize those guys. So we're going to go ahead and put those guys at peas. We have enough workers over in here where these fields should be all right. But we need to figure out some of this other stuff around here. So we did try to expand a little bit, but I think this is almost hurting us more than it's helping us at this point. So I think what we're going to do in order to help the town more so than not, let's turn the school off. Let's utilize these workers on the farms and get some of this food coming in here. So we have three workers on each of these farms because before when we had two, we were losing some peas. So let's go ahead and do a similar thing over in here. We'll bump all these things up to three and we might as well do broccoli as well. Okay, now we're out of workers again. <laughs> it goes so fast. Uh, what else can we do? Okay, so food we know is really not great. Uh, oh, the mines, that's a good idea. So we have tons of iron. Let's take a couple of workers out of there. Let's take some workers out of the smelter. Uh, we just got to do some rearranging here and get some of this food figured out. Just, this is just horrible. Not good at all. Get one person working in the fertilizer there. Okay, three laborers left. We almost have a ship here coming around right now. And let's get a worker in there and let's see if they got any food. And if they do, we're going to be buying it up. We have 7,800 silver coins and we wanted to get some cotton going on, buying some cotton seed for 10,000. Oh, I would rather get this food situation figured out a little bit at least uh, than go right ahead and get into cotton. So let's see what we got going on in this ship. Hopefully they got some food and we can uh, utilize that here. Find out in just a second. Here we go. Let's pause for now. So we have a couple good books. Jade, steel, tofu, veggie cans, weeds, fodder, and good flax. Okay. Well, let's see what's tofu looking like here. Stress minus 30%. That's really good. We have hunger 40 and happiness 45 from veggie cans. I mean, this tofu is just so much better. So much better. Uh, it was 2,000. So mm, how much should we want to put in here? Let's go for 200. Okay, and that's 4,600. That's a lot. But let's go ahead and do the transaction and get some of that tofu happening. So this should save some people for some time here. Okay, we'll get that going on. And Valerie is going to help us get that sent out to our workshops, sent out to our warehouses so that we can get that sent out to the people. Get that happening here. Okay, so now with those adjustments to the farms, it's February, so we're going to get to planting, and then we will be able to harvest, of course, at the end of the summer. So let's see what happens. Uh, we're going to get a couple people going on in this theater here. Continue to build up these houses. I like that idea. Uh, but for now, yeah, let's leave these people out of the school. We're going to have to get that back up and running at some point here. But for now, I think I'm just going to hold off. Is there anything else that I want to cut back right now? Um, we did put in the pottery workshop here for porcelain. We could probably turn that off and utilize those people someplace else. Uh, water's not good either. <laughs> Clothing's looking not great. So where do we have a tailor? I think we got one going on. Yep, right here. We got no linen. I mean, a little bit of wool. Let's set this to rough clothes. We should be able to handle some of this or, or not. Oh boy. Okay, so clothing is a problem. And it looks like the source material is the real issue. So if we can get some more flax going on, there it is, that's the problem. So we have the very base product is really low flax. We don't have flax, we can't make linen, we can't make clothing. 
So there's the issue. So we're going to have to put some more flax somewhere. And I think what we'll do, let's let these people work the fields, get some food going on. We'll check that out, make sure that we're looking all right for food. And then we'll switch one of these farms around to an additional flax farm. And then we'll continue to make some more flax. And we'll continue to utilize our flax for some linens and uh, keep the clothing coming in. We have 500, so we have a stockpile, but it's in the red. So we need to think about it a little bit. But food is our biggest issue. And I'm I'm really kind of ticked about that ban thing. Uh, counting for our food. It just, I, I banned it. I'm not trying to count it. So it's a little bit annoying. But uh, now we know. So we'll keep our eyes on that. More meat pops running around. Oh, what we should probably do. Uh, we have hunters always need to go out for hunting. And sometimes they have to go somewhere far away because they can't find any trace of animals nearby. So a hunter wants to make food that's easy to take with. We will suggest him to take some long lasting food. Meat cans, 300. Nice, good timing, we needed that. Uh, what I was gonna say, gather plants, and let's get some of these plants picked up around here. We got the two laborers, so this isn't gonna be the most efficient thing, but better than nothing. Tech point acquired, that's good to know. I don't wanna jump anything right now. Let's fix this food problem before any of that. And then we're gonna be short workers, I'm sure, because we got people dying of old age, we got people dying of starvation and cold and all sorts of things. So yeah, one problem at a time. So I'm going to go ahead and let this run. We'll go through the summer and we'll see how we're looking when uh, the fields come in and we start to harvest some of our goods. So I'll be back in just a moment. All right, we're looking at August. The peas are starting to come in from the fields. Looks like our broccoli is all done. So we should be reflecting some of that. And looks like we are. So let's see how good we look after this harvest. Hopefully we got enough food for the whole winter time, but we'll find out here. I'm kind of nervous about it. We'll see. We got more meat pops running around. We gotta get these farms worked out before we can really continue on with anything. I was kind of looking around here and there really isn't any technology I wanna utilize at this point to help us out. I guess we could go backpacks, but we don't have cotton cloth. So again, there's no point in that. Uh, processing, we're already working on that and that doesn't really help us. Agriculture, we got the farming efficiency and then everything else just kind of is irrelevant. So. For now, I'm just going to hold off on our technology point. I guess we could do a little bit of trading to try and get some more food, but who's going to be in the caravan? We have no free labor, so problems on problems with that. Okay, food's coming in. Looks like we're not even over 2,000 yet, but most of these farmers are done. So, let's see. We did just gather some of these plants up here. Let's see what's back. I think there's some things back. Try and grab a couple more around here. I see more on this area. As these farmers are done with uh, harvesting, we'll go ahead and pick up some of those other plants. So we need that for sure. Okay, up to 3,400. No, should just we should have just done this. Done our production graph, graph mode, food. All right. Yeah, we need to like double our food production right now. Look at that dip. I wonder what happened there. What's that deal? Hmm. Anyways, well, we're, we're getting there. We got 4,000 food now. Meat pops have subsided. That's good. So yeah, I guess beware that even though these numbers are showing something positive, such as our fish, uh, make sure that you don't have banned stuff that is giving you a false number. So yeah, big thing to watch out for there. All right, so we're looking at an animal plague on the timeline, another merchant ship, and then immigrants. So the animal plague is something to be a little bit aware of, I guess. So what it's going to do is going to infect one of our pastures and it could wipe out a pasture. So if you have a, a single animal in a pasture and that's all you had, like if we just were looking at this right here and we only had the one turkey and let's say that that animal plague went into the turkey, you lost all your turkey basically. So luckily we have at least two of each animal. So we got one turkey here, one here. We got, this is like our fourth or third alpaca and the same thing for our beef cattle. So we should be covered with that. So wherever this hits, we should be taken care of. Now I'm seeing some more frozen people, but I'm confused as to why, because we have plenty of coal. We got some domestic fuels. Maybe they just got to run. That's what it is. They got to run in into their house and warm up. So they must work across the bridge here. And that's what's going on. Our boiler rooms should be helping with that. Let's see what we got going on here. Yep, 30 domestic fuels. And uh, so that's working as intended. So that's good. With that knowledge with the food going on here, I'm very tempted to cut off this other school. 
the 20 students would be very very helpful to put on the farm and start working some food for us but look at these aren't even built yet so to do that i mean that doesn't really make sense either let's prioritize these things they don't really need anything they just need a couple hammers over in here so let's get these built up we need them so let's get that happening with a couple extra immigrants coming in here too of course that's more people to feed but we can put them to work on some fields get some more food coming in and we'll get that resolved so this is now saying we are in the green with the food so without do literally doing anything we have increased our food production oh i know what happened we went into january so the year ended with where we're at right now we should be good on foods but what we're gonna do anyways we are gonna crank the production up i don't care if we have ten thousand foods sitting around let's try and get that working a little bit better i'm gonna keep three people in each farm i think because that seems to be the number that these farms are requiring for how we have things set up so we're gonna leave that as is looks like water still needs a little bit of attention but we're still doing okay with that maybe we want to put in another reservoir these things are so beneficial so very helpful uh, we just got to find a good spot for them that works great right there and of course we'll go ahead and get our road tied in okay and then we'll get that reservoir working as well for us so the clothing is still in the red but i'm so happy that we got that food figured out because now we don't need to worry about all that so much so i'm gonna cut these off just turn them off for now we don't need them well we do need them but i don't have the workers for it right now so I'm just gonna turn them off administrator's term of office is expired okay let's go ahead and check that out reappoint or change let's go ahead and change we don't have enough coins for that we need five thousand construction material consumption is minus 10 percent and citizens max thirst plus 15. Ooh, uh let's go ahead and do the max thirst we're not gonna be building a ton i don't think soon so we're gonna go ahead and do that get the max thirst up because our water is uh kind of in the red here the higher their thirst the less water they're gonna have to drink so that's kind of what my thought was with that so we're looking at march we're gonna get our people back on the fields let's uh, see what happens with this annual plague it's usually not that big of a deal what we could do is flex some more workers from like our kiln factory here these guys have just been hanging out for a while um at max capacity of the production limit so they're not doing anything for us but what we might do to put these people to use someplace i don't want to do that with the smithy because that's a little bit of a different thing but uh let's come down over in here and we can get one more field up in operational well I guess not because somebody died and took labor away and that's gonna happen i guess now we got five that's <laughs> it's all over the place okay so we'll just leave it as it is apparently we're good with our food so that's perfect let's just wait for this plague thing to happen and then we'll pick up some more immigrants and then it looks like we got another flood on the way man the floods are crazy around here so that's gonna be the plan so i'll bring you back once we get the animal uh, disease thing happening the animal plague and uh, we'll see what's up with that. All right, the animal plague is upon us and we'll see where this hits. There it is right here. So we have our turkeys that are gonna get sick here. Might not lose all the turkeys, but uh, suffering from the plague. So something that's uh, going on, something to be aware of. Uh, we could check out what this merchant ship has when it arrives and we might be able to pick up a little bit more food or something else like that. It's July and we have a thousand food left. So we're, we seem to be okay on the food front now. So that graph, was right we'll double check it in january again make sure that we're still on track with that uh, our reservoir just completed so let's go ahead and get a second person in there and now our water should be looking even better we could even just check on that real quick so instead of food we'll say beverages here and the only beverage we're currently working on is water so we need a little bit more going on but the reservoir will help with that so what did this one make this one made about 900 last year so if we go back here this number plus 900 gives us way over 3100 so we should be good with water uh, as of right now but we will get a couple more immigrants coming in so it might be more even but i think we'll still be looking okay with our water situation okay so it's august so some of these things are coming off the field now we should be looking okay for our food now so i've been trying to shuffle a little bit more uh, things around i did turn off most of our reed farms but this is still doing pretty good it's uh, so like we did before some of the things that are kind of unnecessary like the kiln factory not unnecessary but not something we really need at the moment uh let's see is there like a builder's hut that's like really full no we have one worker in there 
This one's got two. That's why these took so long to get built up. So maybe at this point, we really don't have the excess workers for much. The place where we have a lot of workers, obviously, is the farms. There's not much we can do about that right now. We are bringing in five workers here, bringing in coal. So I, I mean, that's good. I want to have that. Oh, but something else that we can check out. So we switched the policy to recycle crop straw now. So if we go to our sawmill, what we can choose is to exclude timber or poop and only use straw. But I mean, we got a lot of dry dung and we got a lot of straw, so we might as well utilize those. So we have this sawmill making domestic fuels with those items and excluding timber. You need to go through these other ones and do the same. This guy's making planks, so, you know, that's, in that's irrelevant. This one's also making planks, so also irrelevant. Okay, and that merchant ship is pulling up. Let's see what we got going on here. Ooh, baskets would be nice. Tea would be good. There's some linen. So remember we mentioned that our clothing, we're kind of needing some linen. But I don't think any of this stuff is super crucial for what we need right now. So we're just going to dismiss them and move on. All right. So again, let's wait up for these immigrants to get here. Oh, look at that. 13,000 food. Awesome. Yeah, let's get these immigrants here. Let's get them tucked into some of our places, get some more of our industries back up and running. Maybe think about another reservoir. I'll uh, we'll be back in just a second with those immigrants. All right, so it's January, so that means our graphs have updated, and we almost have immigrants here. Uh, oh, um, tame the geese. Yeah, after some struggle, the farmers drove the geese into the enclosure. A few beatings, they finally managed to tame them. All right, cool. So we got five geese. Uh, but what I was saying, I wanted to check our graphs. Looks like water still needs a little bit more attention, so we'll get that resolved here. And then food, still looking great. I did put in another reservoir already. Uh, it's already built. So once we get one more immigrant, we'll plop them in here. And we're going to start to uh, trickle some things around as well. So they plant in March. So I did also move this farm over to flax, like we mentioned earlier. So we hopefully have enough flax going so we can continue our linen processes. And once those immigrants get here, there they are. We'll put two more over here into the field and maybe fill this out a little bit more. We'll get back over to our smelter and our fuel factory and start this process back up. And it looks like this veggie processing plant is... Oh, it did pretty well last year, actually. So we want to maybe keep this broccoli action happening over in here. Maybe we want to put a couple more broccoli down over in this side so that this veggie processing plant can do something. But let's go ahead and grab our immigrants. 18, excellent. Okay, so yeah, we want to get some broccoli. So we'll go broccoli and we'll just do the one broccoli down over here for now. Okay, got that going. Oh, and I also put in a fishing dock here and a fishing dock here. And one reason was because we have floods happening again and I want to be able to deal with that. Okay, so, so more fishermen over there. Let's replenish this one. My reeds are doing okay i mean 55 isn't great but i guess we'll go ahead and put two more people in there two more in that one get that up and working again a smelter like we just mentioned do that do that okay we got those going and then a long time ago we put in the small stone statue here but i didn't build it because at the time 100 timber and 100 stone was kind of a lot we're gonna go ahead and turn that back on i uh, remember that this guy is going to reduce our stress by five percent which is then going to help our fertility rate Utility rate right now is at 80%, so we want to make sure that that's as high as that can be. So that's going to help us along those lines. Three people in this marketplace. We got two in this one. Let's get a third in there. Uh, this isn't quite as large as the one in the north, but uh, we're going to need it eventually. So we'll assign those people there. And then let's go back to our pottery workshop here. Transfer station. Let's double check our transfer stations. Make sure everybody's got workers there. Looks like we're good. And I think we can go ahead and turn the school back on. We only um, turned the one off, so we should be okay for that. Uh, the curing workshop here. So fish. One Another reason why I wanted to put some more uh, fishermen in is because we need more fish. Uh, just base fish. So we're working on that. Salt seems to be great. So that's perfect. What we want to have, of course. All right. So let's go ahead and put two more in this dock. And then, of course, we're down to two uh, free labors. So I haven't forgot about the tourism DLC. I was just thinking about this. It's kind of the next thing I want to start investigating a little bit more, and I'm not really sure what or how we do this. So again, can meet tourist accommodation needs and increase a small number of tourists within the scenic range. Building in scenic areas can increase town attractiveness. So I'm not sure if we need to 
make a little district and that's this is just what's in there or if we just like grab this hotel and we plop it in the middle of town somewhere okay no, okay this says must be built within the range of attraction structure so the attraction structure must be the thing that goes in first so let's find a good spot for this so we know that this is going to be more of a housing area i mean we could we, i mean we have to really kind of come up over in this little area which i guess isn't the worst spot to work so let's so let's just zoom out here just for a second okay so this is kind of in the way if we plot this right here uh to expanding the town over in this direction but let's let's go up a little bit further north like right in here and let's put down this pirate adventure park okay let's see what this takes i guess i didn't even look to see what it required to get built okay so we got that oh yeah let's see so we need 300 timber 300 plank easily got that and then we have the hotel so we have the plank, the cut stone, but that bedding is going to be what's going to be a little bit of a problem. So we can't do anything with that yet. Let's get this pirate thing built up and let's see what this is all about. I'm excited to see. So let's build that. I don't know how many workers it's going to take. That might be a problem, but we're working on it. Okay. Anyways, flood is about to hit. Hopefully we are okay with that. So we noticed in the last flood that it did seem to hurt us a little bit more than the, the first flood. So we'll see what this one does. Hopefully it's not even worse. We do have a couple of little things, a couple more fisheries and whatnot around town that should help us with that. But I mean, we have so many more people now, so we'll see how that goes. The other thing we should probably work on is make sure that we get some more linen and feathers going on. So, oh, geese, we have geese, I forgot. So let's get a pasture going. And I think these were eight by eights. That's not going to quite fit back here. So we'll just do it. We'll work. I will do a 10 by 7. We'll make that for geese. I think we still have that. Collection. Geese. Yeah. So this is going to provide us feathers. And of course, the feathers are going to be utilized over here for our bedding shop. Can't do much without the feathers. I guess wool, but we don't have uh, sheep anyways. Anyway, so we don't have sheep anyway. So that's not going to fly. And once we get a couple of geese going on, you know, maybe we could, you know, it probably makes sense to move our alpaca over here and then put our geese over in here because then everything's all kind of in this area. Maybe we'll do that and then they can come up here and do some storage, but it looks like that's pretty full. So we might want to rework this a little bit. Might not be how we want it to be. So with the flood just finishing, it's October, we got 16,000 food. I think we'll be just fine, even, we, even though we had the flood happening. Two technology points. So let's see what we can do here. So we got the Palace of Justice, but we never did the legal education part unlock the structure office of edict dissemination to increase the number of edict coins provided by the palace of justice um, so we could absolutely do that that's gonna take some glass a little bit of cut stone not that big of a deal so that's a possibility we also have trades so we're trying to do that uh, we could grab quick preparation and overloader remodel the max caravan to increase its carry weight mining i'm pretty happy with right now forge might be something we want to really think about soon but not quite yet the next thing that we're really going to need for uh, buildings is going to be lighting, uh, which we can do. Uh, we're just going to need a lot of fat. We don't have a whole lot of that right now. Uh, so I'm going to skip that, I think. But something we could do is we don't have any apiaries yet. Uh, so we should definitely check that out. So what I think we're going to do, let's... Oh, we had some oats at one point. Oh, I know what I want to do. Let's go for drinks. We'll get some... I think we have coffee beans. Let's get some drinks going. Tea shop, winery, get some of that happening. And then let's go ahead and we'll get the legal education and we'll get uh, this office built up as well. Okay, so services. Office of Edict Dissemination. We'll plop that guy right there. That's a great spot. Okay, and then we have the winery. People producing multiple kinds of wine. Wine ration grants health bonus. Okay, and then we have the tea shop. Can process coffee, cocoa, tea leaf into drinks. So we don't have the fields right now set up to really make use of these things just yet. But what we could do is start that stuff. So let's go ahead. We have our grove, which can utilize fertilizer. It's pretty great. Uh, and this AOE thing, like the uh, farms we have over here, can use. So let's go ahead. I think we'll go. I'm thinking that this might be a good spot for that, but that cuts into our that cuts into our neighborhood over in here. So let's kind of bring this grove over in this little area, and we're gonna go one space away from where the road is gonna be. So let's do, let's do a 10 by 10 and we'll do another 10 by 10. We have nurseries as well, but I don't think we built any of these things. So that's another one that I want to get going on as well. 
and that'll work just fine right there so let's go ahead and get one started i i'm not sure if we have any seeds for this yet let's find out no we don't have any seeds that's why that's why we haven't done anything with it so we'll um we'll get that built up can't utilize it yet we'll also get these grows going don't have any extra workers just now but we could do is switch some of our uh, plain old farms like this over to the grove and start making that stuff instead all right so it looks like our pirate adventure park is completed so we have start promoting we need souvenirs in order to do this and this i believe yep masonry workshop so we need to get one of these masonry workshops producing these guys it takes 30 a quarter okay so right now we have a town attractiveness of 24. uh this is the number of tourists prices in scenic areas and the number of immigrants from tourists Ooh, that's good there are four ways to increase it meet tourist requests build tourism structures add decorations to scenic areas increase the health and happiness of the town okay estimated annual tourists of 50. okay access point shop what is that oh cool look at this oh really really great you can buy these guys oh Tech experience. Oh, that's very good. Cats, ears, bell towers. Oh, really great. Beast go. Oh, this is how they do blueprints now. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. Grand Th Therme blueprint? Whatever that is. Sky Witch, the Ocean Witch, Goop Off Heroes. I like that a lot. That's super cool. So that's Redemption. And then we have Commercial, Luxury Hotels, Cafe. Oh, okay. So this is what it seems like to me. Of course, this is the first time I've seen this we get the one thing going and we utilize the one thing to expand into more of the tourism stuff very very neat so let's grab hotel now because this area is defined and we'll just go ahead and we'll pop it um, right next door we need the cotton cloth again this cotton cloth thing always a problem for us but wow we got the pirate adventure park done so i'm very excited to get into this a little bit more but i think i'm going to call it for now for this episode of settlement survival thanks for coming and hanging out with me i hope you enjoyed this one and I'll talk to you again very soon.